Ubona is evil. I don't understand. I'm not sure. My brother died a natural death. You mean you took him to Oramiri to swear because of his missing wife? Yes. I did not know he was guilty. Oh! De, 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 de. You shouldn't have done that. Eh? Such a case shouldn't have been taken there. Why didn't you invite the rest of home now? Eh? Are you sure you left him here? I am not a kid. He was coughing seriously here, holding his chest when, when I ran home. You cannot ask me such questions. Oramiri does with offenders whatever it chooses to do with them. What are you saying in essence? That you don't know where the corpse is? I am not Oramiri. Uh, well, then Oramiri must be in possession of the corpse. I suggest we tell the police. Eh? Yes. Let's tell them. I will become a suspect. I left him to go now and I did not come back with him. I heard that on their way home, he ran mad. Not only running mad, he died. And his body was not found. This is how Olivia ended up. It was Olivia Sina. We've come to plead with you. Please, release the cops to us for him. Be good. His body is in the place it is meant to be. Oh, and where is that? I cannot tell you that. Go home. No, that's not fair. That's unfair. You can't tell us to go home. The young man in question is our son, and he deserves to be buried. You cannot bury a father while his son is still missing. It is either we go in search of him, or we go to war with Omonaka. Omeme, oh, not while I'm alive. If you want to appease us, then give us a virgin girl. What? Bam, bam. It's going on. Wait, Mama. Are you saying that the elders made him swear that he killed Olivia? Yes. And he did and died? Oh, Ramiri kills. Just like that. Hey, come on. So you're alive? Hey! Hewa! Hey! Hewa! Hewa, no! Is that you? Yes, I'm you. Hey! 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 We made him swan oath before him. He did and he died the same day. What? So that man was innocent. I have never been involved. This like this. Why now? Ah. Hmm. Olivia, now tell us. Where have you been? What happened? And why did you leave Obuna's house? He got a bigger job. Immediately I met him in the city. He loved his job more than he loved. More than he loved our kids. Oh hey, yeah, I don't know what is wrong with that. I don't know what is wrong with him. He's sick. Hello? Hello? Hmm. What kind of thing is this? What is this?
Hello, Uncle Joe. Are you around? You need to come to my house. I don't know what is happening to my son. He's not, he's just sitting here like this. He's not talking to me. He's not doing anything. Please. Okay. Please. Talk to your mommy. Diamond. I don't know what is wrong with me. It's been like this since. I don't know. He's not talking to me. He's not doing anything. He's just sitting like this. I don't know his problem. We have to take him to the hospital immediately. Okay. Just give me time. Okay, please hurry up. I've not seen him like this before. Please. What is this now? Hey, mom. Talk to your mother. Hey, mom. Uncle, please hurry up. We need to ask for us to call him at He needs blood transfusion right now. Well, his father is at work. He can still come and save his son. Take my own blood, please. Uh, are you a free donor? What does that mean? We have to test you first. Okay, please. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Let's Anything. Go. No, see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, but we have a slight problem. Problem? Yes, you have atom of hepatitis in your blood. You cannot do it, your son. Hey. I think you have to call you. But right now, you have to call him. Doctor, I've been calling him. I've been calling He's not taking my calls. He's not even replying my text messages. I don't know what to do. Can't you do something about the hepatitis or whatever you call so that I can donate blood to my son. I don't want anything to happen to my son. Because I'm sorry, man. We cannot do anything about it. But your husband needs to be here. Your son's life is more important than that of his work. Uh, I think you maybe have to call any of your relatives. Maybe we can be of help. Excuse me. I'll be back. Baby, baby, what is it you told me on the phone? My son, my son is dying. He needs blood. He needs. Excuse me, your husband hasn't come yet. Doctor, you can test my blood. Uh, are you a free donor? Yes. Or in that case, you have to test your blood first before you know that thing. Uh, nurse, get prepared. Come with me. Honey, I'm coming, okay? Can I see him, please? Yeah, you can see him. He's in the hot bin. Oh, please. Oh, okay. okay. This way. Okay. You could not pick your calls. You could not reply my text messages. I am sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That is all we have to say. I am tired of hearing that from you. What kind of a man are you? You cannot spend a little time with your family. Ha! Baby, I am busy with work. I didn't even realize my phone was ringing. Can you hear yourself talk? No, Obuna, can you listen to yourself? You were busy. It is obvious that you cannot protect your family. Why are you talking like this? It's not as if I don't provide for you. I've provided virtually everything you need. And I've cared for you all. Bravo. Bravo. 
hero of his family. You care for us all. And up till now, you have not bothered to know the person that donated blood to your son, our son. You don't even know what was wrong with him. Our son would have died. He would have died if that donor did not come. Are we going to argue over this all day? Are we? These days you nag a lot. I nag a lot. No. You didn't say that to me. You didn't say that to me. Obona, I nag a lot. Listen, if you're not tired of this whole thing, I am. I am tired. Get tired of saying that. Really, I am sorry. All we need from you is care, attention. We need you. The kids need you. It's okay. I'm going to change now. I realize that for the past four months, the kids have not seen you when they wake up. You leave very early to work before they wake up and you come back very late at night when they must have gone to sleep. Don't you think they need you? They need to get close to you? They need that fatherly love from you. Why are you talking like this? Have I not been providing for you and the kids? I've provided virtually everything you need. Hmm? What else do you want? I want you. We want you. We need your care. We need to sit together and feel your presence. Sweetie, do you realize that since we got married, we've not spent quality time together? It's over five years and We've not spent time together as husband and wife. Babe, 
Can we talk about this when I come back? When you come back around 11.30 p.m. at night, I guess. What has come over you? I am fed up. I can't bear it anymore. I am a woman. I will see you in the morning. Ah, Uncle Joe. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, you are going to work? Yes. Hmm. Late. You are always late. Uh, how is the family? They are fine. They are good. I'm wondering if we could talk. You have been avoiding me lately. Oh, it's a joke. We'll talk later. It may be too late. Man, no, no, no. Nothing is too late, sir. I don't think you know that a man can step on his own toes. A man can also shoot himself on the leg. Mr. Joe, we'll talk about that later. Hmm. Rather in the night. I'll see you in the evening. The night? <laughs> Traffic was too much. Your food is on the table.
lead. What is it? Why do you always frown your face whenever I want to go to work in the morning like this? I frown because you have made me less a woman. I cannot hold my head up and say that I am a woman. Nothing about me turns you on. Nothing about me makes you want to spend a little time with me. You have chosen your work over me, over our kids, over our family. You expect me to smile. Honey, why do you want to talk about this all over again? Because you have refused to change. You have refused to treat me like a woman. Sweetie, it's over five years we got married. But I can count how many times you touched me. I can count how many times I spent time with you. Why do you like trouble? Hmm? Why do you like trouble? Why can't you appreciate the fact that I go to work, work early every morning just because of you? Why can't you appreciate the fact I've given you the best life you deserve. You have not given me anything close to best life. All you have given me is loneliness. Loneliness and loneliness! Is that what I deserve? I mean, do I really deserve that? You know what? I refuse to be happy. Not start this thing you did a few years ago. My heart is heavy. I don't know if I mean anything to him. I can't remember the last time I spent time with him. I can count. How many times you made me feel like a woman? I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to be faithful to him. I really want to. But he's pushing me to the walls. For over five years, I have been saying this thing. When they say that the finger cannot enter the mouth, it's either there is no mouth or there is even no finger. I don't understand. Are you saying he doesn't love me? Are you saying we are not meant to be together? No, I, I didn't say that. So what are you saying? Please, apply wisdom. Apply wisdom, please. What, what, what is this? Eh? What is this? Can these children allow somebody to rest? Honey, what? Are too, God! You are too harsh on them. <sighs> They're only kids. I work from Monday to Saturday. Today I need to rest. You have to go in there and hold them. Can't you do that? 
Don't you know I need rest? Baby, they don't get to see you at home all the time. Mm. Today that you are here, they want to play with you. Meaning what? Meaning what? Today that I'm at home, I need to rest. Please. Oh. All the same, you were too harsh on the kids. Oh, please. Don't, don't just tell me that. What is this? What is this? Huh? Oh. I still want to rest. Tomorrow is Monday. I am going to have a busy day. Please. Baby, am I asking for too much? Come on, touch me. Touch me. See, I am oh, your oh, wife. Touch me. Please. Okay, okay, okay. Can we do this tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yes, please. You are going to leave very early tomorrow. <sighs> Baby, come on. Come on. Let's 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 leave this tomorrow. Must must you have sex? Eh? Is it food? Eh? What? <sighs> when last did you touch me? For Christ's sake, Obona, I am your wife. You can't keep treating me as if my feeling doesn't count. I live in this house with you. Sleep on this bed with you. Yet you find it very difficult to touch me. You prefer your job to me. You crave for your job more than you crave for me, your wife. Is it fair? Answer me, is it fair? Why did you leave Obuna's house? Oh yeah, I don't know what is wrong with that. I don't know what is wrong with him. You see. Hello. Hello. You need to ask for us. Oh, you are using the cubic brush official right now. Well, his father is at work. He can still come and save his son. Doctor, I've been calling him. I've been calling. He's not taking my calls. He's not even replying my text messages. I don't know what to do. What kind of a man are you? You cannot spend a little time with your family. Why are you talking like this? It's not as if I don't provide for you. I've provided virtually everything you need. Mm. And I've cared for you all. You care for us all. And up till now, you have not bothered to know the person that donated blood to your son. Our son! You don't even know what was wrong with him. Our son would have died. He would have died if that donor did not come. Do you realize that for the past four months, the kids have not seen you when they wake up? You leave very early to work before they wake up, and you come back very late at night when they must have gone to sleep. I'm wondering if we could talk. You have been avoiding me lately. I don't think you know that a man can step on his own toes. A man can also shoot himself on the leg. Oh God, what is this? Oh, oh, hey. Ah. Yeah, I'm so tired. Oh, see this sound sleep you just disturbed. You have not given me anything close to best life. All you have given me is loneliness. Loneliness and loneliness! When they say that the finger cannot enter the mouth, 
is either there is no mouth or there is even no finger. Are you saying he doesn't love me? I work from Monday to Saturday. Today I need to rest. You have to go in there and hold them. Can't you do that? Don't you know I need rest? Baby, they don't get to see you at home all the time. Mm. Today that you are here, they want to play with you. Meaning what? Touch me. Uh, uh, Touch me. See, I am uh, uh, your wife. Uh, Touch me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can we do this tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yes, please. But you're going to leave very early tomorrow. Let's, 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 let's leave this tomorrow. Must, must you have sex? Huh? Is it food? You are not going back to your own place, are you? There is a saying that two persons cannot be mad at the same time. Uncle Joe, I have tried. I have. There is also a saying that whatever you pick from the teeth cannot satisfy a hungry person. You are not accusing me, are you? Jeff is just my cousin. I am not God. I am not God. I did not witness what happened inside my house. But remember, this house belongs to you and your husband alone. Not for you and another man. I am not a preacher. I am just an old man who cares. An old neighbor who does not want to witness evil.
heart enough love Up a very big wahala Cause no one, no one Go fight for your love Why hasn't your husband brought you food? Okay, we have to give you some injection, but you have to eat first. So you have to call him. What is the time? This is half past eight. Yes, one Work? Has he forgotten that he brought you here? Doctor, my husband is a very busy man. Very busy that he forgot to attend to his wife first. Don't worry, doctor. I've called someone to get me some food. Okay, that will be fine. Please do, because you have to administer some drugs to you. All right. I said you should stop. You brought me food. Let me eat the food, please. It's okay, I'm sorry. I just hate seeing you like this, my love.
You are welcome. Hey. You didn't go to school today. I didn't take us to school. Have you eaten anything? Mommy, why do you study it us? Oh, don't say that, my baby. Daddy does not hate you, okay? Daddy is just busy. Hmm? Have you eaten something? Mommy, I am hungry. Not to worry. Mommy is back. Mommy will prepare both of you something very delicious, okay? Mommy, I want to eat spaghetti. A spaghetti you shall get. Hmm? <laughs> Can you talk now? Jeff, the kids are here. The big things. What is wrong with the kids knowing the truth? Please, stop. I'll be on my way. Thank you for caring. Drop that, drop it, drop it, drop it. Hey. Man, Obuna. Hey. You're welcome. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Hmm. We are yet to talk. Oh my god. What is it? How can I forget to bring my wife back from the hospital? Huh? Oh. Mr. Wonder, you are a very wonderful man. How can you forget to bring your wife back from the hospital? Ah. Hmm. Joe. You know, sometimes you talk too much. Your wife is inside. She's inside. I'm sorry, I went to see the Commissioner of Works and I... Um... And you left me in the hospital since last night. You're coming back now to tell me that you went to see the Minister of Works. Can you hear yourself? I'm sorry about that. You can't be sorry. Why didn't you take the kids to school? You were too busy to take your own children to school, I guess. And you didn't think I needed to eat in the hospital. I'm so sorry, okay? I will make it up to you. Okay? Make it up to yourself.
Are you going out? Yes. Uh, please help me give this uh, keys to my husband. That's enough love. I've heard it be while No one, no one can fight for your love. That's enough love. No one, no one Go fight for your love Bona's house on your own? Yes, so we have a hand in the death of your sent man. How do we carry a man with a broken waist? Hey! This could turn into a war. I know the people of women know them. They do not forgive easily. Hey! Hey! Uh, we have to go and see Zora. Mm -hmm. Olivia! You will not see me. Amen, boom! Hey! Just go in and dress, eh? So we can go to this room and see him. Is your remedy? There is trouble. A big one. Hmm. What is it? Our daughter is alive. She returned. Something is wrong somewhere. She came by a few hours ago. She even said that her husband is not a ritualist and that she left the house on her own. So, what killed him? See, that is why we are here. This is our greatest worry is that what do we tell the people of whom we need them? Take her home while I consult Uramiri. Make sure nobody from Umudidi sees her. Ide? Asa is Thank you. You mean you've been with Jeff all this while? Yes, I But why didn't you come home? Why this call? I mean, all these things wouldn't have happened if you had done that. Mama, are you the one saying this? The last time I came, you refused to let me in. Have you forgotten? Hmm. Oh. I still can't believe that Obona is dead, honestly. It's partially your fault. What about Uramili? How could it kill an innocent man? That one is the one that I don't understand. I feel terrible right now. By the way, what, what, what about your children? Where are they? Ah. 
there with their father. Wait. With their father? I don't understand. You, know, you see, there's a lot to talk about. I have all the time in the world. Let's start talking about it now. Where are your children? Who are your children with? I, I hope it's not what I'm thinking. The truth is that. Jeff is the only one. hardly had time for me. But you told me that Obona was responsible for your pregnancy. Yes, I did. He was responsible for that one, but I had a miscarriage. He was not responsible for my other pregnancies. Hey! I am ashamed of myself. What do I say? Maybe maybe do. What kind of problem, trouble have you put us into? No, no, it's not my fault. Uba, it is my fault. Mona never made me feel like a woman for once. So you turned to Jeff. You knew he was my first love. Olivia, Olivia, ha! Hmm. So this is the reason Jeff insisted I come and see you. Olivia, hi. I was going to your house because I couldn't sleep. Neither could I. The water is up our neck. Hey. Uh, you need to find a way out. What way? Um, I, I think we need to find a strong DB. To help us. Do what? Help us do what, Ede? Eh, Ede? I don't really know, but... To help us out of this mess. Ede? All we need to do is go and see Ezra Mili and hear what he has to say. Yeah. Yes, let's go. Eyes of the God, what has Ezra Mili said? Ezra Mili hasn't spoken yet. Urami hasn't spoken yet. What if the people of Omunib hear this? What do we do? We have to wait until it speaks. So, how long are we going to wait? I don't know. We heard that your daughter is back. So, can we have our son alive? I hope I'm not talking to trees. We want Obona. Now, uh, take it easy. Did you just say take it easy? Did you take it easy with my nephew? When he asked you to give him a little time to look for his wife, did you listen to him? We want our son now or heads will roll when we come back here. Uh, uh, um, please, uh, let heads not roll. Uh, we will sort this whole thing out. No, don't even go there. Don't say that. That was calling me. Provide our son alive. That's all we ask it. It's all right. Mm. It's okay. You can go and come back tomorrow. Let us consult Orami. Mm. Maybe he will tell us where uh, Obona is. Oh, war rooms! I can sense destruction in the air! L listen! Omunaka has touched the tiger's tail. You have two days. Two days to provide a son alive!
Moenike, mm-hmm. what do we call this? Evil. That is what it is. I told you that this was carefully planned and executed. What do we do now? Oh, revenge. We must pay them back. Yes. If by this time tomorrow he remains like this, we will severe ties with Omonaka. Because if someone bites me on the head without minding my head, I will bite off his anus without minding it for the first time. You have spoken very well. It is time we show them that we are also men. <laughs> because the hunter's bullet straight to the heart of the hawk is always a delight to the heart of the mother.